what is going on YouTube? So today I'm going to give you a small, a tour of my little tiny house, my little 900 square foot house. And I'm gonna go over some of the improvements that I've made on my house based on my real previous realtor's advice of how you show a house. Um, this is going to eventually become a rental. So I'm sort of trying to make it look like a rental house, but fully furnished. So I'll show you some of the things I've done right and some of the things that I have done wrong or chose not to improve upon. So let's get to it. Where should I start? So I guess let's start in the living room. So this is a very small living room and I cannot fit a couch in here. I guess technically I could, but it would make the room look a lot smaller. So this is a love seat instead of a couch, but it can still technically fit three people, but two is more comfortable or two pets is just as comfortable. And uh, so let's go ahead and turn this around. You want to have your windows clean with new blinds and you want to make sure that the height is, you know, it doesn't drape on the ground and it's not too tall. Also the colors that you choose for the walls. So you're supposed to have all of your walls the same color. The color that my realtor chose is called grayish. So it's a mix between gray and beige. So if you look at it in a certain light, it looks beige. And if you look at it in another light, it looks gray. Yes, we are watching Ghostbusters. Um, also with the fireplace. So the fireplace is espresso bean paint. That's what it's called, espresso bean. And the brown, what was the wording she used? The brown, um, it, it makes things look, it grounds things, that was her word. Uh, brown grounds it and it makes it look more luxurious than it may actually be. And same thing goes with the vanities in the bathroom. Because this is such a small house, I chose to mount my TV. Um, so she never actually mentioned anything about mounting the TV, but uh, that's what I did. And then over here on the painting, I did this wrong, or the artwork. So it's supposed to be much, much lower. But the artwork is actually covering the old uh, thermostat for the wall heater that I took out. So I have it at that height. It, otherwise, it would be a lot lower. Um, and actually, it should be much lower. But uh, maybe I will lower it. I'm, I might lower it. I'll probably, I'll lower it after this video. How's that? And then when it comes to uh, photos, like family photos, you want as little clutter as possible and you don't want any family photos. I guess that when you're showing a house, family photos and trinkets like this make people uncomfortable. So when I do end up moving, I'm, uh, I'm obviously gonna take those things with me. And I might put up some board games and some books. I might have to go to the thrift store and buy some books just to make the shelf look a little bit more full and something to do. Um, but other than that, you don't want anything personal in your space. Moving on over to this giant mirror here. All right, so here's some of the things that I did right and wrong. So this is the room to me that is as close to perfect based on her recommendations as I can get. When you go to a, this is technically a master bedroom, but it's only like 11 by 10 feet. It's very small, but you want a queen size bed in the master. And then you want two nightstands, matching nightstands on each side with matching lamps on each side for consistency and height. And then when you see that, and she was so particular about the, the height of the artwork. So this artwork, I took that picture and had it put onto Canvas. You can do it at Canvas Prints or CheapCanvas.com. There's a million different websites, but you gotta, you gotta price compare because they change their prices on a daily basis. But you don't, I, I would have had it like way higher up, but she wants it very, very close to the top of the headboard, which is fine. And she might have even asked me to take out the plant I like having it seem like the, a little bit of the outside coming in, a little bit of nature coming in. 
And then another thing that is important is hardware matching, matching the hardware. So see the top here, how it's black, and then the knobs are black or brass or bronze or whatever silver or whatever cover, color you're using. They should match or be very similar. Another thing is with the curtains. So with the curtains, uh, you want them to be light in color and hanging from clips. So I never got the clip thing. Like I never, I've never had clips on my curtains. Uh, I don't, I, I never knew it was like a thing, but it does make it appear much more luxurious than it actually is. The only problem is that the ceiling fan is silver and then we've got the dark and the dark. Um, but the mirror frame, hello, the mirror frame matches the silver on the lamps. And then uh, we've got the grayish walls. Well, no. So these two walls are grayish. I tried to make a match. They're not a perfect match, but those walls are grayish. But then I've got two gray walls. I, uh, I prefer the gray walls, but it actually, it looks really nice in here with the gray and the grayish walls. Uh, there's the difference in the wall colors right there. And then moving on over to the bathroom, she actually chose this shower curtain and I brought it with me. So you want a white shower curtain. And then you want, uh, normally I would have a uh, mat, a mat down there. Um, but my dogs feel the need to uh, use it as a pee pad or whatever, so I took it out. And then they actually use their pee pad now, which is great. This one, just saying, just saying. All right, so um, the vanity. Um, all right, so notice brown, brown, brown. So I got those all to match, and that's what you want. But here's what I did wrong. Silver. So I'm one of those people where I'm not going to replace something until it's broken. And I replaced the vanity, but the faucet works just fine. <laughs> So the faucet is silver and the handles are silver, get it? So silver, silver, those go together. And then that is silver and the toilet paper holder over here is silver. And this knob is silver, silver. But we've got the brown, brown, and brown. So those go together. But she would probably uh, make me replace the towel holders. And also she was big on towels. So she, was, she had like five white towels hanging. And to me, it looked over, overdone, like crazy, crazy. That's too many towels, but she was all big on like having like five towels folded specific ways. And she even took washcloths and rolled them into little rolls and put them in a basket and put them on the vanity at my old house. But my old vanity had was wider than this, so it had the space. Or maybe she put it on top of the toilet. Um, but yeah, uh, and you want your toilet seat closed, <laughs> just so you know, but that's what she did. And that just reminded me of something. Oh, the bed. Yeah. So tons of towels, tons of pillows. So you want the back pillow, the front pillow, a long pillow, and then something in front of the long pillow. She actually had more than this. She had another pillow between these two and this one. And also... Uh, you want a gray or beige duvet cover. I don't have that on here right now because it's in the wash. And, so, and, sh and you don't want it the throw like this. You want it like draped over like a little thing over on the corner because it makes it look more lived in. I don't know. All right, so we're just gonna check out my other bathroom real quick. So she would have me take most all this stuff out. But if you're gonna have artwork, it has to be very, very any, you know, it has to go with everything. It has to be very able to go with everything. You should not have personal soap, shampoos, or conditioners, but you should have these. An amber colored shampoo, conditioner, and body wash if you're gonna have it. I did order a bamboo thingy to go across to put a candle on to make it look much more luxurious. 
But, uh, yeah, she would, and she would, pro I, I think this bathtub is crazy. I think it takes up way too much space. And the tiles were already grayish across here. I can't replace these and painting them would just be a pain in the rear end. So I just left them. And then I made the walls match the tile, which is kind of like a big thing. And then if you look over here, this used to be white. You definitely do not want a white vanity. And then I also replaced the mirror and I painted the mirror to match the vanity. So espresso bean, espresso bean. And then I put in a new light fixture, which is also brown. So they all match. And this one did eventually need a new faucet, brown. So I did all that correctly. So that's a good right, thing. So let's take a quick look at the guest room. I can tell you already right off the bat what I did wrong. But first of all, uh, I ordered another throw to put over on that bed so that they match. So the beds are great. Uh, they're not a perfect match with the stripes over there and no stripes over here, but it's pretty darn close and that's really good. And then the dark navy blue matches the pillows and it also grounds it and it matches the curtains, which did, which looked horrible on curtain rings, by the way. I tried the curtain rings, looked horrible. But what she would tell me is the dresser needs to be painted. Um, the four drawer dresser or side table or whatever you want to call it would need to be painted black or espresso to ground it because as you can see it doesn't look quite right and then you've got the weird green lamp I'm sure that she would make me replace the lamp or possibly get an additional two side tables for each side um, in order to make it more consistent this one also has a wall mounted TV which works for me and the artwork is can go with anything, right? It's one of those types of things. Um, but this room is very plain to me. Uh, and I think that it's because the dresser should probably be painted. Um, but other than that, I might actually take that dresser with me when I move. I haven't decided yet. It's incredibly heavy, but my grandmother owned a furniture company and she made that. And the lamp was my other grandmother's, which I, the lamp has a story behind it. I absolutely hate the lamp, but she made a joke. She said, when I die, you're getting all my lamps. And I was like, I am not taking your hideous lamps. And she's like, no, you better. So as a joke, after she passed, I took her lamp. <laughs> so if, if the lamp breaks, I'm not going to be heartbroken. <laughs> it's, it's not a big deal for me, but as you can see, it's pretty, what's the word? It's pretty flowy. And this room's huge. It's like 20 by 15. You probably can't even tell that on screen. But I tried to make it appear smaller. And these are both full-size beds, and they match. And once I get the throw, that's going to match as well. But there's no personal stuff in here at all. There's not a single knickknack or photo or anything in here and it's got a huge closet with tons of closet space um and there's not really any hardware to match i mean the the brass matches the brass on the the lamp but that's that's really all the hardware that's in one here one thing she did insist that i do with my old house was to install a microwave above the range where there was a fan above it instead um, and I refused to do it. I was like, no, I'm not going to do it, but whatever. Um, on this house, I did in fact do it. I hate the microwave above the stove. I always have. And I, again, I, I don't like it. I simply don't like having a microwave above the stove. I'd rather have a countertop one. That's just my personal preference. But I did it here because I knew it would increase the value of the rentable space. Also, I have a 11 cubic foot refrigerator. She was dead set against that. She said you have to have a minimum of 14.5 uh, cubic foot refrigerator, which is the smallest size that they make that has the handle. And also uh, going with stainless steel would have made it uh, also a higher rent for some reason. But this place came with that stove. So 
I had to make the microwave and the refrigerator match the stove. And aside from the stove having these black grates on top, everything in here is silver hardware and silver on the refrigerator so everything matches. So that would have been okay with her. One last thing about the fireplace. Uh, this was actually something she made. I don't know if she made me buy it or she bought it, but uh, it, it does something with, if you, I don't know, it, I don't know what it does. It does something visually to the, to the fireplace. And then I don't know if she would approve of the candles. So uh, this is, again, it's going to be a rental. I would prefer if they don't burn fires in the fireplace, but if they do, I do have the grates for that. But what they did at my old house was they put, they had the grate in there. I had the grate and they went and bought one of those wood, wood uh, things that you buy at like the gas station. They bought like three of them and then they like made it look all fancy and then they photoshopped in a fake fire. But uh, this thing, it actually says home on the plate. If So I would personally rather they don't use the fireplace and just use the electricity, but if they want, a, they can have a fake fire with candles or there's firewood in the grate in the backyard if they choose to do that. But I guess the fireplace is like the biggest focal point of the whole house and it's like the first thing that people see and people notice. So you want that looking super nice. All right, folks, I think that's all I've got for you today. Um, you just keep it minimal, no personal belongings. Um, you know, she would probably take away that plate thing that I've got there so that, that, uh, my drinks don't fall into my storage ottoman thingy. And, uh, definitely don't have dogs when you're showing your house because that, uh, would probably freak some people out. God, they're so cute. All right. That's what I've got for you guys today. Please remember to be kind to another to one another. Let's make this world a more polite place, a better place. Let's leave it better when we're gone than when we came into it. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess. It is out. official. We are on our first walk together. We practiced, look at this, first walk together and they are doing amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is, this is everything I was hoping for. Thank you, Brenda, for teaching me how to train myself to train my dogs. Our first walk together is, oh, did you just pee on your sister? Oh, awesome. Our first walk together as a family.